Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to calculate profit and cost of goods sold in your Microsoft Access Order Entry Invoicing Database. Today's question comes from Emerson in Chesterfield, UK, one of my Platinum members. Emerson says, I'm using your invoicing template. How can I add the cost of each item sold so that I can calculate my net profit for each order and my cost of goods sold for the quarter. Well, Emerson, this is just a matter of adding the unit cost to your order detail table, then adjusting your queries and forms accordingly. Let me show you how. Now, before we continue, I'm assuming that you've watched the invoicing template video. If not, pause this and go watch it right now and then come on back. Okay, here I am inside of my Tech Help free template. You can download a free copy of this from my website. I'll put a link down below. Now, Emerson is a Platinum member, and the member's version has a few more bells and whistles in it, but I'm going to show you the basics in the free version first. Now, the first thing we have to do is edit our order detail table. We have a unit price. Now, we just have to add a unit cost, and that's a currency value. That's what we pay for the item that we're selling. So if you buy, let's say, hard drives at $100 and you sell them for $125, now you can track your unit cost along with each item that you sell. All right, save that. That's all for that table. Let's put some values in here. All right, so here's my unit price for each item. Over here is going to be the unit cost. All right, so here's $30 for that one. Let's say we bought it for $25. Okay, we bought that for $6. We bought that for $3. We bought the phaser bank for $12.50. Uh, the photon torpedo is $3,200. And let's say 80, 40, and this test one down here, let's give this some uh, a value over here. Let's say 5 and then 3. Okay, how's that sound? All right, look good? Looks good. I like to put sample data in my tables before I do too much with the database. By the way, if you want those prices and costs saved in a product table where you can just pick them, that's covered in the extended cut for the members. One more reason to join, right? Okay, let's go ahead and edit our order detail queue. Right click design view. We've got the extended price in here. Now we need the extended cost, right? The cost for each line item, which is the unit cost times the quantity. So the extended cost is going to be the quantity times the unit cost, which unit cost should now show up in here since we added it to our table. See right there. All right, save that. And if you run it now, you'll see the extended cost for each item. You could format that as a currency if you want to. You don't really have to. We're never going to work directly with the query. Okay, so let's close that. Now let's do the same thing with the form. Right, where's the order detail form right here? Design view. All right, we're going to have to make it a little bigger now. So slide that open. I'm just going to copy and paste all of this stuff. Watch. See all that? Copy, paste. Now it slides it down below it. That's okay. Slide this up over here. All right, slide these up over here like that. Slide this one over here. Okay. And now we'll just line this stuff up like that. Line that up like that. Actually, this has to be lined up on the right. Okay. Slide that up. Slide that up. Slide that up. Save it. And now we'll just do some editing. Let's come in here. This will now be the unit cost. This will be the extended cost. And one thing that I hate is when you do that, notice how it got a little bit bigger like that. I, I can't stand that. Get back on that grid. Sometimes it just it pops it up just a little bit. All right. Hey, access team, fix that. Okay. All right. Unit price right here. Now we're going to change this to unit cost. And don't forget to change the name too. We don't want it text 16. All right. Alex will yell at us. If you don't know who Alex is, you need to watch more of my tech help videos. Okay. Extended price is right here. We're going to change this to extended cost. Copy and paste that over the name. Okay. And you need to line up on the right. There you go. All right. Now down here, this guy, right? This one over here is the sum of the extended price. I called it sum extended price. This one's going to be the sum of extended cost, right? This is a form footer total sum extended cost. If you don't know how to do a form footer total, go watch my video on form footer totals. I'll put a link down below in the link section. Okay, let's close this, save it, and let's open up just the order detail form and you can make sure everything's working. Okay, I've got one unit price of seven, unit cost of six. All right, let's make this two real quick, two. And look at that, 
14, and 12. Perfect. Down here, add that up if you want to. Looks like it's about right. I'm not doing them. You can get out your little calculator app if you want to. Trust me, it's good. All right, now this is all of the items, so let's go back into our order form now. Here's the order form. Okay, now you can't see it. That's because the order form isn't wide enough. Now you got two options at this point. You can leave it kind of hidden like that if you don't want you know, your customer looking over your shoulder, for example, but you got to remember to tab over there. See how you can just tab over? You could turn the horizontal scroll bar on if you want to. I covered that in the invoicing uh, video. Okay, or you can make your order form bigger so your employees don't forget to put the costs in. So we'll just right click and design view and we'll slide this sub form out about yay far. Don't go too big. Let's see. Yeah, sometimes it's I have a hard time grabbing the exact edge. Bring it right about there. All right, good enough. And you can make this stuff bigger now if you want to. All right, make it look nice. All right, save it. And now let's go back to the order form. And there you go. Now you can easily see the total price for each order, right? The sale price and your total cost for each order. So now it's easy to calculate your net profit. All right, let's go back to the order detail subform. Design view. I find it's always easier to edit subforms by themselves instead of editing them inside the parent form. It's just easier this way. And you might sometimes want to do this, too. Let's take this guy, put it like there. Put that underneath it. All right. Maybe unbold that. And let's add some labels. Copy. And then we'll paste it down here. See what I did? I clicked on that, and then I pasted it. That attaches the label to that text box. Okay. So this will be the uh, order total. All right. We'll bold that so people know what they're paying. Okay. Copy, paste, maybe unbold it. We'll call this the um, total cost. That's your cost. Now we can easily calculate our total profit, right? Let's just copy this, copy, paste. All right, we'll put down here net profit. What's this going to be? All right, this is going to be, we've got the sum extended price, right? The name of it up here, sum extended price, sum extended cost. So this guy is going to be the net profit, which is going to be equal the sum extended price minus the sum extended cost. See that? You can use those little pop-ups if you want to. I'm old school. I almost never use those little helper windows. I appreciate them, but I never use them. <laughs> All right. Save it. Close it. Open it back up again. There you go. There's your net profit. Okay. Make a change up top. Give me two of those. Now I made 1050. Okay. Now you've got the figures in your table, right? You've got the cost and your sale price in your table. So you can calculate your cost of goods sold. That's easy to do. That's just an aggregate query, right? If you don't know what an aggregate query is, I've got a video on that. It's free. Go watch my aggregate query video. I'll put a link down below. Or you can sign up and become a member. And in the extended cut, I'll show you how to do a complete cost of goods sold for the entire quarter. And we'll make these changes to the members version of the template. So you can just pick from the product list and it'll put all the stuff up top here. Okay, that's for the members. Here's the members database. They got a shiny new coat of paint, right? But they've got an order list. They can pick an order, right? Down here now, I'm going to add a mouse. All right, add. See, they got a, a list of products to pick from. And now it adds in the unit price and the unit cost, calculates the stuff down here automatically. And we've got a cost of goods sold query that we can open up, and it'll show the quarter, total sales, cost of goods sold, net profit for each quarter. Right? It aggregates them all together. That is covered in the extended cut for members, adding the cost to the product combo box and the cost of goods sold quarterly query. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut videos. Gold members can download the templates. How do you become a member? Click the join button below the video. After you click the join button, you'll see a list of all the different types of membership levels that are available. Silver members and up will get access to all of the extended cut tech help videos, live video and chat sessions, and more. 
Gold members get access to a download folder containing all the sample databases that I build in my Tech Help videos, plus my Code Vault, where I keep tons of different functions that I use. Platinum members get all the previous perks, plus access to my full beginner courses and some of my expert courses. These are the full-length courses found on my website, and not just for access. I also teach Word, Excel, Visual Basic, ASP, and lots more. But don't worry, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, and feel free to post any comments that you have. I do read them all. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free, and click the bell icon and select All to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Click on the Show More link below the video to find additional resources and links. You'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted, so if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. Now, if you have not yet tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of building databases with Access. It's over three hours long. You can find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. And if you like level one, level two is just $1. And it's also free for all members of my YouTube channel at any level. Want to have your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my Tech Help page and you can send me your question there. Click here to watch my free Access Beginner Level 1 course, more of my Tech Help videos, or to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching this video from AccessLearningZone.com.